morning traders. TG Watkins here. It is October 23rd and we're recording this. And just remember, we do have the money show coming up. It's right around the corner. Uh, that's going to be for me Monday and Tuesday that I have a speaking spot. And then we also have a, a board panel review situation with the rest of our team. It's going to be pretty cool. And then over here, we have the, let's see this one, the Orlando Summit for Simpler Trading. So make sure you guys have your tickets and uh, that you're planning on going. Um, but really definitely looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys there. It'll be great putting some uh, faces to the screen names. So yeah, that's going to be right around the corner. That is this Friday and Saturday. All right, everyone. So then we head over to here. Let's take a look at the market. Now, the market pretty much gave it up going into this week. And what we could see was right here when the S&P started to break back below the 15-minute 50. Moxie indicator also confirmed right there. And you can see right here, price also started to break back below the hourly 50. So we were doing pretty well up and through here where price was holding the hourly 50. But then it all changed right there when it started to break back below. And you can see that going into the weekend, it confirmed to the downside right there with price still getting rejected by the underside of a downtrending 15 minute 50. The Moxie indicator also definitely confirming that. <clears throat> and I'll just say, that even if we're looking for price to move up or if this is going to be a double bottom area or price is going to bounce, if price is going to move back up, then we definitely know what we're looking for. We want to see the Moxie indicator really nice and tight and we want to see price start to engage with those moving averages. And so far, we are very far from that. In fact, really look at the 15 minute Moxie indicator. It is, it's very far from being set up. So, you know, the trend is down for now. And then let me show you also over here, Palantir. Because you can look at these things. Palantir has been one of the stronger names during this whole thing. And let me show you that right here, when price bounced into the hourly 50, it held the 15 minute 50 and the Moxie indicator looked good and we got to move up. Well, let's see if there was a wash, rinse, repeat. And it looked interesting here as price also bounced into the hourly 50, got bought up and was looking interesting. But then right here, you can see it got over the 15 minute 50, but then failed it. And you can see the difference right there from from failing to success, and notice that the Moxie indicator also failed compared to when it was successful to the upside. And so what do you do? Get right back out. So yeah, we took a trade and uh, got out just a little bit under break even. So those are those things that we just started seeing changes going into the weekend. And right now, you know, the market is super heavy. So make sure that you are staying on the correct side of the market. And if it's not working for you, just get out. That is the luxury of the business that we are in. You don't have to stick around for it. You can always get out and make sure you protect, your, protect yourself. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you in Orlando coming up. Definitely looking forward to it. We'll see you then. Hey, TG here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my market analysis. Or you can join my free newsletter with the link in the description. Good trading, and I'll see you at the next video.